Today I will give you detailed instructions on how I created this modern 3D animation and how you can do this too. Additionally, I will give you something back in the end of this video. To get started, we will drag a fusion composition in our timeline and place a playhead over it. Then we click on the fusion tab. In here, we will start by dragging our background node into our node graph. Then connect it with a multi merge node to the media out. On the background node, change the alpha value to 0. Next, we will set up our 3D scene. So let's get a camera 3D node, an image plan 3D node, and a renderer 3D node. We also need a merge 3D node to connect the camera and the image plane to the renderer 3D. Now I will take a text node and connect it to the image plane 3D. Now let's change the title to filmic footprints and put it in two separate lines. And let's change the color to a red. We still can't see the filmic footprints because we have to click on this little circle on the merge node on the left side. And now you can see the 3D scene. And let's select the camera 3D and bring it back. Now let's change the font on the filmic footprints. And I will take Monserrat and change it to black. Then I will move this a little bit back and search for soft glow node and put it in between the image plane and the text node. Let's reduce the gain and increase the glow size a little bit. In the next step I will go to the media pool and import an image of my character. Connect it to another image plan 3D and hook it up to the merge node. And now it's way too big, so let's go to the transform on the image plan 3D and scale it down. I will zoom in into the 3D scene by using control and the mouse wheel and then I will hold the ALT key down and use the middle mouse button to rotate around. Let's pull our character to the front and a little bit down, maybe about this. Then I will pull the media node back and search for color corrector. Put it in here and bring the saturation down to zero. Then I will get a background node and a merge node. And I will take the media in output, drag it into the background mask and connect it to the merge node. Now you can see our character has the same color as our background node. I will change the background type to a gradient and then I will take these handles and put them diagonal to our image. Then I will add another color point to the gradient and change it to the color red. And let's move this, these points a little bit closer. And now we just have to go on the merge node and change the apply mode. Now we can go back to the background node and adjust the gradient a little bit. I will change the angle. And then I will go behind the merge node and add another soft glow node. Then let's take this text node and add a drop shadow. And let's copy this node and place it on the soft glow of the character too. The drop shadow of the character, I will increase the shadow strength quite a bit. Increase the drop distance slightly and increase the blur. Then I will adjust the position of these two elements. 
Let's take the text and put it a little bit to the top. And move the character to the top too. Right around this. And maybe let's move him back a little bit. Now I will go to maybe frame 30 and place a keyframe on the camera position. Let's do a keyframe on the Y value and on the Z value. Then let's move the playhead maybe to frame 12 and pull the camera back and a little bit down. Now I will get a background node and a polygon mask and I will connect them and let's Let's put this and let's put these two nodes in our right view and click the polygon node. Now I will draw some shape. In my case, I will use a rectangle. Then uncheck the solid checkbox and increase the border width a little bit. Then click on the background and change the color to red. And now let's place a soft glow behind it. Now let's place a soft glow node behind the background. And let's adjust this. And now we can place this in our scene. So let's get the image plane 3D. Connect it to the image plane 3D and connect this one to the match 3D node. And now I will click on this rec now you will click on the triangle and move it all the way to the front and go to the transform and let's scale it down somewhere around here then we can go ahead and select all these nodes to copy and paste them and we will connect them to the match 3 d node too. Then select this image plane and move it to the right side of our character and then use the blue arrow to bring it a little bit more to the front. Then we will click on the polygon node and on the background node we will select the right view window and then we will take the corners of the triangle and move them a little bit around to create a new shape. Now let's go back and paste another two triangles. Don't forget to hook them up to the match 3D node and then pull them all the way behind our Filmic Footprints title. Now you can use the X and Y arrows to position them in your image. Then go back to the polygon nodes and change the shape of our triangles for both of them. After this we can fine tune our visuals a little bit so click on the background node of a triangle in the front and make the color a little bit brighter. For the triangles in the back, I will darken the color. If we move to the end of our animation, we can see that there's this little end of the polygon in our frame, but I want it to be out of frame. So let's take the image plane of the polygon and move it a little bit up. Now we can use the navigation bar to return to the edit page and drag our fusion composition, a video layer, up. We need the first video layer to place our background under the fusion composition. For this, I will use a grid background I've created in an earlier video. Now we need a second scene to create a transition between those two. So let's expand our grid background a little bit and drag the fusion composition to the back. What we will do next is search for a beautiful title scene from the brand new Easy Edit Cinematic Titles Pack. The project includes basic titles, texture end titles, light leaks, film burns, transitions, CAT overlays, animated textures and much more. You can choose among 18 categories including movie credits, cinematic icons and sound effects to finish the look with details. 
and they even offer a giveaway where you can win this complete pack in today's video. More on that later on. The cinematic titles pack perfectly suits everybody from bloggers to designers or even beginners in video editing. And if you purchase it once, you will get all free updates with the new templates and categories in the future. And if you don't edit in DaVinci, it is also available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. To create our scene, we will go to the Effects panel and go to the Titles category and open it up and click on Cinematic Titles. Then I will choose a title. In my case, I like this full screen title. So let's drag it into the timeline. Without changing anything, the title already looks quite good. But to make it fit with our second scene, I will customize it. So let's have a look at the right side in the inspector. And first of all, I will change the background opacity. I will drag it all the way down to zero so we can see our grid. And then I will change the color of the text to red and the text itself to video editing. Now let's go to video transitions and take an oval iris and put it over our transition. Then I will click it and change the duration to 16 frames. And to finish things up, I will add a leak overlay from the cinematic titles pack over our video clips. And before I end the video, we come to the part you all have waited for. The giveaway of one cinematic title pack by EasyEdit. To take part in the giveaway, just write a comment under this video and add a hashtag giveaway. The giveaway is opened by the release of this video and will be closed in exactly 7 days. All the detailed rules for the giveaway you can find in the video description. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel to see more videos, but this is only optional and is not part of the giveaway. And now, go check out this next video. See ya!